Today we're going to learn the Statue of Liberty and how to balance a ball on your violin. The first thing we need to do in Statue of Liberty is make sure our feet are in a V. Keep your heels together and separate your toes. And in the last video we talked about stepping forward like this. We're going to wait and do that at the same time as another motion with the violin. First, place your pinky over the signal dot in about middle position, midway up the string, and make sure that your thumbs are round on the back, and we're going to firmly hold the strings down and hold the neck with our left hand, and go up like this in Statue of Liberty position. As I did that, I had to make sure I was very firm with my left hand, and I stepped forward with my left foot. So again, hand is in the middle of the string and the pinky's over the signal dot. Firmly hold it with your left hand. Your feet should be ready in a V. And we're going to gracefully move our left foot and our, our left hand to Statue of Liberty position. Ready? Try this with me. Just like that. This is a position of power. The reason that I say that is you're using some big muscles in your arm to do it, and it's good to come from a position of power and then come into playing position. That will help us to relax into playing position, and it will help us feel like it's easier to play in playing position. It will also help us establish really good posture. Now I want to practice Statue of Liberty several times. Let's go smoothly between rest position and Statue of Liberty position a few times. Okay, ready? Here's our first one. And back. Here's our second one. Ready, set, go. Good. And each time you move back to rest, you bring your foot back. And our third one. Ready, set, go. All right, nice. Now, after we do Statue of Liberty, we're going to then put it in playing position. So the next step after that would be to find the end button. So let's do Statue of Liberty. Then locate the end button with your right hand. Turn the violin over into playing position. Touch the end button to your neck so that it touches near the, near the center of your throat or to the left a little bit. Lift up your chin, go to the left, and put your chin on the chin rest and you are in playing position, and hopefully it feels really natural since you're kind of more relaxed than you were when you were holding up the violin super high in, in Statue of Liberty. And going forward, it's a great idea for you to use Statue of Liberty position before playing position every time you put your violin up. The next thing that we're gonna do to make sure that our violin is in a good high position is, I'm gonna get something off the chair and I'll show you. Just watch how I stay in playing position as I pick up this item. Okay, so you could walk around like this and it's kind of a fun thing to do. I picked up two balls. One is a rubber bouncy ball and one is a ping pong ball. We're going to balance these balls on our violin to help us ensure that our posture is nice and tall. So we'll start with a rubber bouncy ball. It's a little smaller so that's a little bit easier. We're going to balance it between the G and the D strings so these are two strings on the lower side, the left side of your violin. We're going to put the ball right there, and then we're going to make sure that it's touching the bridge. So just like that. If your ball doesn't move, then you are in a very nice tall position. Now you'll notice if the ball starts sliding that way, or falls off, then you need to practice it a little bit more and also try to keep the scroll a little bit taller. If I'm gonna um, fall this way with my violin, then it'll fall off the side. Sometimes I see people uh, go too high and then it will fall off this direction. So all three ways, you should make sure that you're balanced this way and also this way so that it stays. Now I'll try the ping pong ball, which feels a lot lighter, but it's also a little bigger, so it means it's a little bit more difficult. So put it between G and D, touching the bridge, and as long as it's not moving and it stays there, then you're in a good playing position for your instrument. You'll notice that I'm standing nice and tall, my scroll is very high, 
my hand is in this nice playing position with a good V kind of point to my elbow and my fingers are poised in a little rooftop with a little bit of air in between um, over the signal dot. So if you can do all of these fun things to help you get in playing position, you'll be ready for the next step of playing your violin.